Everything you're about to see has been captured in engine as one continuous shot without loading screens. Distance between planets has been compressed for the sake of brevity. Oh, so, yeah, I get it. Okay. So that's like the sun. I guess the blue one's Earth. Solar system size game spaces. That's what it says down at the bottom. 16 bit large world coordinates engine. So where are we going? Well, why haven't they had a loading screen yet? Because I played Starfield and I feel like I would have had three by now. Seamless transition from space to ground. Okay, then do it. Let me see it. Do it. Fully explorable plants without loading screens or boundaries. Okay, then do it. Oh shit, who's this? Oh, that's the space station. Physically based atmospheres with multiple light scattering. Uh -huh. Well, I can tell it's fake because it's not flat. Oh, wow. Holy shit. So we actually... What the fuck? It actually worked. Wait, so so why does Starfield have so many loading screens then? Why? I, the, what? Locations populate instantly with characters and players. I can see why people donate money to this game. Yeah, this looks very promising. It is a bit loud. Physicalized frozen ocean. Really? Real time transit system? Oh! There's a guy in there from Japan who didn't pay for it. Can you go in the water or underneath the ice? There's like a frozen whale. Oh my god. This like some sort of like fucking space station or something? Oh my, wow. Look at this. This is gaming, man. Look at this. This is amazing. Still too loud. Will I turn? I turn it down a bit. Fully interactable and explorable multi-crew spaceships. So that's an actual spaceship that you can. So if this is Star Citizen, the spaceship's like what? Probably six thousand dollars. Holy fuck! Oh, it's only four hundred. Oh, okay. Maybe I should buy one. That looks incredible, wow. So you can like sit out, of, oh that's, wow. Okay, now what? Is there a Yeti down there? Real-time biome generation. Uh-huh. Has to be pre-rendered, I see. Oh, shit. Oh, there'd be a loading screen to go in here. Yeah. Subterranean location.
locations. Well, how big is this? Long game. I'm waiting for this to be like an Elven Ring moment after you come out down from the, uh, from the elevator. Oh, that's a lot. It's like a mining. It just works. Starfield clone? Not necessarily. Sunlight shafts through the atmosphere. This is amazing. And like this, yeah, there's been no loading screens or anything. Rivers driving terrain modification object resolution. Water's kind of fucked up, but you know, you can't run them all. Oh my god. Dense environment, procedural generation based off of. This is a demo for the updated engine. It's not live yet. But I still think it looks really good, man. Oh my god. Looks like Valheim. Well, I mean, it looks a little bit better. Dynamic planetary winds driving physics, physics simulation. Holy shit. Who the fuck is this? It's like a hippo. Those are all that we'll get all those Discord moderators with. So there's like a whole area here. Space cows, yeah.
who said, wait, this is a moon? Bro, that's not a moon, that's a rock. Real time ge large scale asteroid generation is rendering. Oh my god. Yeah, this is like No Man's Sky with Starfield graphics. It's I, I feel like the the style of this is a lot better than Starfield, honestly. Those light? Yeah, look at that light. That is incredible. Holy fuck. Look at this. Day and night cycle based on planet rotation. So, like, what happens? It looks like it's a Jupiter, right? It's a gas giant. Can you go on? What happens if you go into that? It's not going to show that, are they? Probably nothing, right? You die? Yeah, but like, what happens if you go into a spaceship? Oh, shit, they are! Oh, my. Wow. This is amazing. And this is all in the same area. a 9060 GPU? Yeah. Oh my god, this is incredible. I didn't expect it to be like... I thought they were just gonna go through like one planet or like go around the different... Jesus, there's another spaceship. Space whales. Holy shit. Like, bro, this is like I'm uh, watching, what was that movie, 1917. It's like all one continuous shot. This is incredible. This, this is like the warp drive. This is a space scaling? What's that, what's that in the middle? That's another space station. Damn, that's a lot bigger than what I thought it was. Oh my god. Holy fucking shit. Was this like a drive through Go, go in it. It's an ad, yeah. I told you guys you're not gonna get with ads. Oh, what the fuck? What in the fuck is this? That's cool. Oh, that... Okay. This is fucking badass. Yeah, I, I like this a lot. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, 
is it, yeah now now it's like because like you know all the the traditional like oh space exploration that's cool but like whenever i see this bro like this is like in between armored core and warhammer 40k no i fucking love it this is incredible and like you go down and there's like oh wow Holy fucking shit. It's a pirate station? Yeah. Oh, wow. Cyberpunk? Yeah, it does remind me of the cities in Cyberpunk. Or the city in Cyberpunk. Night City. A little bit. Skin shader? What the fuck? All this space, all the stations, and no aliens? They've already shown two alien species. Yeah, they've shown two already. I'm sure they'll probably show more. And even if they don't, I'm sure there's going to be more. Holy fuck, man. Like, I, I honestly, like, I didn't know this level of scope was possible. I, I'm going to be totally real with you guys. Like, I, I didn't, I didn't know you could do this. Now, I'm sure that there's probably going to be, like, different types of design tricks. Like, for example, like, that wormhole probably functions as a loading screen. And like so to other things, but like goddamn, it's so fucking clean. It might as well not even exist. Holy fuck! Look at that. That's amazing. No, it doesn't. Well, even if it like it, it does or it doesn't, like even if it does, it doesn't matter. But either way, like I, I had no idea you could do this. This is incredible. Holy fuck. So now what? Dude, imagine showing this to somebody who just got done playing Super Nintendo. What the fuck? 1995. What game is this? Um, this is going to be, this is part of the Squadron 42, I believe. Uh, this is the same engine I think they're using. And I think it's going to be used for Star Citizen. This is that that game is coming out in 37 years. Sunshaft occlusion on a planetary scale. Holy fuck. Isn't it funny to think back? Remember those people that were trying to make that game Earth 2? Well, these guys make Galaxy 2. Yeah, I I'm gonna say, like, I, I haven't really paused hardly at all in this whole video. I really like the graphics and everything of this game. Th you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of how I thought Halo 1 looked whenever I was 11. Oh, uh oh, oh, th this is bad. Yeah, th th that's bad. Uh oh. It's very scripted. Oh, it is. It's a demonstration. Yeah, just close it. Yeah. Stuff like this now. 
very nice, as you guys can see. Terabyte download, download. Oh, that, that's that's easy. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be barren as fuck. The thing is, like, I don't think that's really a bad thing as long as it's really big and there's a lot of people that can do whatever they want wherever they want. See that water simulation on decals? Oh, I see. The water's doing water things. Yeah. Wow, that looks cool. Holy fuck. Hierarchical and Algebra container technology. Yeah, look at this. This is incredible. It's it's really impressive for me to see like the level of detail of like each of the individual buildings because they're not like copy pasted of each other either. I'm sure that if you saw like 50 encampments that there would be copy pastes or like a lot of similarities. But like, damn. Yeah, some are. I think the, those silos were copy-paste, but the buildings weren't. In fact. Oh, I saw this on Top Gun. Yeah. Yeah, the, the ships look really nice. I think the water leaves a little bit. To oh shit, they're gonna get. Oh my god! They'll probably shoot. Oh, bro, there's probably terrorists over there. Oh no, never mind. Maybe they just have oil. Uh oh. So you can actually destroy the environment too. Bro, I remember a red faction too. Let you do that? I thought it was the coolest thing ever. Block simulation? Oh Gotta get that checked out. fake because the earth isn't flat. Yeah, by, by now like, you know this shit's fake. This is amazing. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I could watch this for an hour. I could watch that shit for an hour. What the fuck, bro? That was 24 minutes? I felt like that was like 24 seconds. This is incredible. I, I am so impressed by this. Like, I can see now why people have waited 11 years and they've given them, like, a bunch of money. I can see why they did that. Yeah, like, dude, this part right here, where the fuck was it? 
Oh, bro, like this. Dude, that was fucking cool, man. Oh, dude, that was so badass. I love that. The two planes crashing was utter garbage, though? Yeah, you're right. It wasn't that great. But, you know, again, uh, am I going to focus on the one thing that wasn't good or the 50,000 things that were? I mean, you can always improve something small like that. What this is really showing is, like, the capacity. Like, they can improve the planes crashing into each other. So, yeah, I think this is really fucking impressive, guys. Like, this is in incredible. Like, I had no idea that it was on this level. And I am so glad that I saw this. This is unbelievable, man. The server meshing tech to stuff is insane. Yeah, like, what the fuck? You're gonna be selling this engine to other devs? Good, I hope Bethesda buys it. Fuck, I hope Blizzard buys it. This engine is incredible. What the fuck? Oh my god. I think that the scan and, like, the this doesn't really look super great, personally. Um, I think it really looks great for the environment, though. As I said, I think that it was like, uh, where was it? Uh, yeah, here. I really like this scene here. This reminded me, dude, am I the only person like, dude, I got such strong Halo 1 vibes from this. Oh, man. I was like, yeah, bro. Like, this could have been, uh, what was it? What were they called? A pelican. Uh, yeah. Holy fuck, dude. This was so cool. Yeah, this is just amazing. Uh, I mean, I, I never thought I'd, I'd say it, but I, I, I think I'm excited for this game. I am. This is unbelievable, man. This is incredible. I can't believe more people aren't talking about this. I'll link you guys the video. Yeah, look at that. New video on the WoW channel? I'll look at it in a second. Watch the server meshing? I'll look at that maybe tomorrow if people want to link it to me and uh, give me an idea of what it is. The engine's an offshoot of CryEngine, Lumberyard owned by Amazon. It's basically a modded version of the same engine that New World uses. Well, that's good. That means that whenever this ship goes anywhere near anything, it'll go like... And then it'll just, like, teleport through it. Yeah, I can't wait. It'll be exciting. 